Dear Jess, any gastro tour of Spain would be entirely deficient without a report from the city of three cultures, capital of the Visigoth Kingdom, as well as Spain up until 1560, and now capital of the modern region of Castilla-La Mancha, Toledo. I've set up kitchen at this glorious vantage point across the river Tajo, but for now I'm off in search of El Plato del Día, today's special, a classic of Castilian cookery, a pork stew called carcamusas, so typical of the city of Toledo. My research begins and ends at the very restaurant where the dish was invented a mere 70 years ago at the Bar Ludeña in the Plaza Magdalena. I'm having another Castilian classic, partridge in escabeche. And these are the carcamusas. The name carcamusas refers to the customers who enjoyed the dish back in the day. The carcas, older gentlemen from the neighborhood, and their muses, the young senoritas, known as the musas, carcamusas. Now, one of the problems with on-location cooking shows is that one has to lug one's equipment up steep slopes, causing considerable thirst in the cook. Cheers. That's better. Right, now the ingredients. Quite simply, some lean pork diced up ready for stewing. Some Spanish cured ham, jamón serrano. A chorizo sausage. A little bit of hot chili pepper to spice up the sauce. Just a little bit, as remember, Spanish cooking is not Mexican. Dishes are only ever lightly spiced. Garlic, as always. A bay leaf. Onions, green pepper and tomato puree make up the sauce, with a final addition of some greenery in the shape of peas. Now, here's me doing a little more dicing, mainly to show off my new toy, made in Toledo. Flavor the oil with a little piece of chili before adding the meat. The pork needs to be browned over high heat as fast as possible. But another problem with these solo cooking efforts is that mistakes are recorded forever. Here I'm attempting to brown the pork in an earthenware pan, forgetting that these things are designed for low heat cooking. So over to my trusty cast iron pan.
The truth be known, I always feel a little timid serving up their own food to the natives. But let's see if my guest can face eating a spot of this. Ah, all seems well, and she's not just being polite. I seem to have cracked it, and the carcamusas are wolfed down. Splendid. So I'll trot along then in search of more local, authentic specialties from the heart of Spain. Hasta pronto.